He's a team builder and he's a team player. And I think he learned that early on in his career that that's the way to get things done in a good professional way is to build a team. He was very, very skilled at that. To me, it's inborn. His whole life has been that way. He addresses everything with his leadership and his skills, and he's caring and makes people feel valued for their opinions. And he, he just has a great heart. You know, Gary's, Gary's a farm kid. Uh, you know, that's, uh, I, I'm not. Uh, but my friends who uh, have had that background all share the, a uh, similar uh, drive, uh, similar ability to uh, tackle problems. Uh, I think that has a lot to do with it. I think his faith uh, is an important uh, component of his personality and his moving forward with things. In many respects, when Gary Tobin was the CEO of the Lawrence Chamber of Commerce, and Buford Watson was the city manager at Lawrence. It was the halcyon days, if you will, because we had good growth, we had cooperation, uh, and we had uh, a far-sighted leadership in both the private and public sector. Um, and I think uh, Gary brought unique talents to that uh, that uh, are very hard to match. Well, he had a real enthusiasm for what he did and it was kind of contagious, you know? He got everybody involved in a way that utilized their talent. And um, Gary made civic duty fun. He hit the ground running here and with some Leadership Kansas graduates that lived here in Lawrence, he, set, he put together the uh, Leadership Lawrence version. And it's now, I think, in its 37th year and over a thousand graduates. I mean, that's a great legacy for any community is to have over a thousand leaders taught um, the, the skills of leadership and get to know people that are leaders in Lawrence. Gary was big on that. One of the things that many in the community know and have worked on is the South Lawrence Traffic Way. And while Gary was here, he worked tremendously hard to see that issue come to fruition. And again, he talked to both sides. He talked to officials, he talked to highway departments, federal people to get that issue and just couldn't get it done. And then it took us in the community working on it another 15 years to get that highway done. But this was an example of his vision of what our community could be and how it would benefit our community. And I can't drive on that road today and not think about the work that he put into it. One of the biggest accomplishments was the ballot initiative that um, established a second high school, uh, passed the one cent sales tax for the health center and the jail and recreational opportunities and arts. Um, and by the way, uh, lowered property taxes along the way. So I think uh, he felt that was uh, quite uh, a step forward for the community and, and, and really a, a foundation for the future. Gary is extremely close to his uh, family. Family is as important or more important to Gary than probably anything else. He's able to make his professional commitments and his personal commitments jibe in a way that, that uh, enables that. Um, and I think that's something that uh, is a very admirable quality about Gary as well. I say this as a compliment to them, but they can work a crowd better than any two people I have ever known. I mean, they are efficient, friendly, kind, and people like to be around them. So I really think they are two people that Many of us can look up to, I know I do. And I, I am uh, very privileged to be his friend and to have spent the time I have with him in the Rockies, Glacier National Park, Mount Fuji, Maine, and among other places. He's a great example of a leader. He's a great example of when it was his responsibility to get things done. He got things done, but he did it by building a team to do it.